Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Working for gender equality, promoting women's empowerment is a consolidated social goal established in national and international law. The importance of a twin-track approach in promoting gender equality has also been stressed by the European Parliament in its 2019 resolution. In Italy, there was no gender impact assessment until March 2021, when, following the debate of the budget of the Chamber of Deputies, was approved a measure aimed at introducing in the dossier of the Chamber a paragraph dedicated to gender impact analysis. Another issue I would like to underline is the importance of the work done by the Parliamentary Intergroup for Women's Rights in the preparation of the National Recovery and Resilience Plan to make the government understand how important it is to invest in the development of social infrastructure to increase female employment, sector already disadvantaged before the pandemic and in great crisis in these post-pandemic times. Regarding instruments to support the creation and development of women's businesses, it is crucial to ensure better conditions for their access to credit. From 2013, SMES Fund contains a special section called Presidency of the Council of Ministers Department for Equal Opportunities to promote entrepreneurship and self-employment of women. Recently, legislative measures have been approved and adopted to deal with the economic crisis generated by the pandemic in order to implement credit support and introduce certain forms of direct support. The allocation incentives of 15 million euros for female entrepreneurship, women in the agriculture, which was provided in the Appropriations Bill in 2020 and confirmed in 2021, it's a measure that rewards and encourages over 200,000 female entrepreneurs. It's very important because in Italy, agriculture remains one of the sectors with the highest percentage of female employment. In addition, a women's enterprise support, support fund has been established with a budget of 20 million euros for each of the year 2021 and 2022 in order to promote and support the startup and strengthening of female entrepreneurship. In conclusion, there is still a lot to do, but I'm sure that the effort of all parliaments will contribute to full and complete female realization. Thank you very much.